Hi everyone, the objectives of this video are to be introduced to point defects and in alloys in the form of substitutional solid solutions as well as interstitial solid solutions. Okay, so just have a look at point defects and alloys. So in the situation of an alloy, impurity atoms are added to the metal in order to influence the overall characteristics. So by alloying and adding a new element into the crystal solution, we are introducing secondary elements to the crystal structure, and this can often add um, such benefits as strength, which is mostly why it's used, to add strength to a material. So alloying or um, creating a solid solution just means adding a second type of element to a crystal structure. So we can see here we have a diagram with three different types. So here we have substitutional, So that's a substitutional solid solution, whereas here we have interstitial. So this one in here is also a substitutional, but it's kind of just to show you the different balance we can have. So from there to there, um, one intensity versus another really. Okay, we have certain conditions for the formation of these su substitutional solid solutions, and we call these the Hume row 3 rules. So we can't just add any element we want into the mix. Um, they have to meet the conditions of these rules. So the first one we have is that the difference in radius